yogis, Katie Gassaway here at Body and Shine Wellness in Elgin, Texas. Today we're going to be working on dolphin pose, which is kind of like down dog on your forearms. So it's a great pose to help you build shoulder strength, stretch your hamstrings, and open up your chest and upper back. So you don't really need much, just your mat and maybe a block today. Uh, but other than that, we'll get started shortly. Right, so for dolphin pose, um, as I mentioned, it's kind of like down dog, so our forearms are gonna be on the ground instead of our hands like they would in down dog. So starting in a tabletop position, you're gonna come down onto your forearms. You'll grab outside edges of your arms, so you wanna have it be close enough to where you can wrap your fingers kind of around your triceps. And then you'll take your arms out in front of you like a number 11. It's kind of like a sphinx pose also spreading your fingers nice and wide. This is where you could potentially use your block. Some people like to have the block in between their palms to help them keep that shoulder space. I prefer kind of not to. Um, also, the block gets in the way if you want to do a different variation, if you want to interlace your fists or stack your palms, which can sometimes feel a little bit more supportive on the shoulders. So. I'm not going to use a block, but it's there if you want to use it. Then starting to lift your hips up and starting to walk your feet a little closer in. So this is where it kind of starts to resemble down dog. You want to actively press into your forearms so that your shoulders engage, so you're not drooping or dropping your head on the mat. Then pulling your belly in and up, sending your tailbone up and back. As you get a little bit more flexibility going, maybe walking those feet a little closer in, stacking your shoulders more over your elbows, which if you choose to at some point will help you get into Pinchamayurasana or forearm balance. So the more you can practice stacking your uh, shoulders in line with your elbows, the more you're going to build that shoulder strength and the more you can set up for eventually taking your legs up overhead. So from your dolphin, if you want to play with some other stuff, if you're already pretty comfortable with dolphin or you're just looking to do something different. You can play with lifting one leg at a time. Again, maybe working up a little bit more of that strength for an inversion. You could also play with lifting one arm at a time. Now the key here is keeping your chest and your hips as level as you can, so not dropping to the side as you lift that arm up, but keeping everything really stable, pressing into your forearm that's still on the ground. So those are a couple ways that you can find a little bit more challenge in your dolphin. Or yeah, and dolphin just by itself is a great strengthening and flexibility pose. So try it out. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. And check out some of the other fun forearm stuff we have going on this month. Thanks, guys.